everyone and welcome to Rogue Adventure where we're playing the Swords of Ditto Mormo's Curse. Now I have no idea how this game is and I guess we can see some of the graphic here. Um, but yeah, let's find out together. Um, hold up. That the screen seems to be a bit small. Okay, I think that's better. So let's create a save. New story. The music's it's different. So let's see. Relax modes for when you want to take it easy and see the sounds. Ditto is a little, a little, it's a less fearsome place in relaxed mode. I have no idea where I got little from. Regular mode, recommended for most adventures. Regular mode provides a strong but fair challenge. And hero mode, hero modes for those that recognize the death is that is the end and time is always against us. Well, let's go regular. Not too hard, not too easy. Just right. Wake up. Wake up. Hey, Sleeping Beauty, wake up. Okay. Now, how the. Don't tell me we've fallen in the first hurdle. Oh, hello there. Maybe if I just pinch his nose. Not with those horns, right? Okay. Nothing like a lack of oxygen to bring a person to their senses. Anyways, morning, sleepyhead. Nice of you to join us. Okay, first things first. We got to get you kitted out with the sword. See that glowing light? Follow it. What glowing? I'm getting ahead of myself again, aren't I? First time nerves. There's a lot to go through. It's probably better if I explain it as we go. Okay, guess I should introduce myself. The name's Puku. Nice to meet you. Now let's get to town. Okay. Okay. Okay, so arrow keys to move. Can I run? Click. Okay. Let's go after the sword. Right now, all I know is that I can use arrow keys. Oh, uh -huh. diddle, diddle, wick. This is the main tall guy, but we'll have plenty of time for two more later. For now, let's head to the statue. Oh, I just noticed the the sword on the stone in front of the statue. The Ditto Mart. The Air Kazoo. And that, that informant at the area because it kind of reminds me of Tetra I believe from Wind Waker um, okay and how do I interact options nope not game mode uh, temporal options up, down, left, right, actions. Oh, okay. So, X and Z, space roll, C toy, V quick health, F. Okay. So, I cannot do any of that, but there we go. Now I know a little more than the Oh, wow. I got some armor again, somehow. 
As you grasp the sword, you feel a mystic power coursing through your veins, imbuing the strength of your forebearers. You have become the Sword of Ditto. Okay, I got a bunch of stuff in the upper right. Upper left. Why did I say right? Don't all look at you. St standing there all sparkly and heroic. Guess it's time I explain a few things, huh? Ditto is under a curse, see? Every hundred years, the wicked witch Mormo rise spread her evil influence across the land. And seeing those quick slots over there just reminds me of Legend of Zelda. Now, unopposed evil is kind of unfair, so a hero, Sword of Ditto, also rides to fight Mormo and stop her evil schemes. Hint, hint. That's you. I guess a, that's a pretty big end. That's a pretty big ask, seeing as you just washed up here and all. I thought he would say a pretty big task, but alright. Well, I don't write the rules, and there's no complaint department. You want to know what's so bad about Mormo? Well, it's a bit off script, but why don't I show you more? Beats having to listen to me some more, right? Come on, her palace this way. This way, oh. Oh wow, I just turned to a ball. Um, ooh. Get yeah, out. That's a pretty fun way, Jane. Okay, just floating tentacle things. Look at all the scripts. Guess they know. No, their ooky spooky master is about to return. Let's check the tower and see if anything started yet. But be careful, it looked real bad if you die the first challenge. So the arrow is C. Okay. Mormo's Palace, level 2. Not even a level. level. I did not even level up. Okay. Oh wow, that deals a lot of damage. Crit. Right. So nice. Okay. Let's keep going. It doesn't seem like you gain an XP. over here. Okay, can I interact with them? Nope. Might as well just keep going. Oh, I came from the top. again. That does not seem like gain X speed, but Okay. Four hundred. That. Oh well. Okay. Ooh. Can I keep going? Yeah. Okay. So now I have chucked you to the enemy. Those scripts, though. Oh, 
I am the archer. There we go. There's a lot here today I have to go through. Oh, bless it. You need to light this thing to get past this door. Have you got anything on you that can start a fire? Yeah, I got a torch. Don't know how to use it, though. Use the torch by pressing C while it's selected on the... You can open your bag with escape and assign items whenever you want. Okay, but how do I... Select that? Ah, okay. Quick slots. This game might actually be well to play on a controller. Okay. Awesome. Is that Mormo? More. Oh, I should have known it was you, Cuckoo. One can only hold on. Actually, is it Mormo a witch? Ah, huh. I should have known it was you, Cuckoo. One can only hold off the vermin for so long, after all. Uh-uh, yeah, uh-uh. It takes one to know one. Oh, shoot. I should have prepared something better than that. Eh, as you can see, I'm already back. Which means your little lucky must be too, hmm? Yes, you. You must be Pooku's little toy. Charm, I'm sure. I do hope oh, she, she's ex- Oh, she. Pooku's a she. I'm sorry. She explained just what she signed up for. I don't much like toys, you see. I find them a distraction. They bring people joy, levity, hope. These are not values I wish to be cultivated in my idiot flock. So I'll make an example of you, young one. I will untread every seam holding you together. I will rip your little button eyes off your head. I will pull out every inch of stuffing and scattered far and wide, so that all may know what may what becomes of hope. Well, pretty graphic. Wait, you're a toy? Well, this is definitely the first time a toy has ever been the sword of Ditto. Of course he isn't a toy. It's a metaphor, you insect brain. I mean, Puku isn't like a beetle. Deep breath in and out. Seeing as you're already here, why don't I just nip this in a bite and save time for everyone? My apologies, sword. It's nothing personal. Oh. Hey, no fair. Well then. The sword falls. The end. We lost the game. Oh. Better restart. And EO did the sword fall to the ground. Gold and light. And blue. Like so many before, and so many to come. Good for resurrection unopposed, more more spread her tendrils of darkness across the land. The people bowed their heads in fear, praying that the sword may one day be reborn to them. A hundred years later, just as the last ember of hope were dying. I should have be a creepy disembodied voice more often. Anyway, right. Hello, it's time for us to go. Audrey years I've been waiting to get another go at Mormo, so let's get that out. Oh, okay. I just jump off the red. Round two. What? So I guess this one they start kind of like from scratch. It's so rules out here nowadays. Amazed what Marvel can do to a place in a century. Oh, the kazoo thing. What? You have no idea who I am or what you're doing? Fine, I'll give a quick intro. Ready? You're the latest sort of ditto. In short, run around, overcome trials, vanquish Marvel, get to the back of 
everyday life, blah, 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 blah. Look, I know I'm rushing you, but we got very limited time, okay? Once you get your hands on the sword, it'll all come flooding back. Muscle memory or something beats me. Sword should be with less owner, which means the graveyard. Follow my marker. Shouldn't be too far since I can't row or anything. Can't attack, can't row, so. Okay, there we go. Oof, I got a weird feeling in my stomach, and I don't think so leftover poop I had for breakfast. Let's head for the grave before something icky pops up. I live very close to the graveyard, huh? And there we go. As you take the sword from the grave, you feel a mystic power course through your veins. And being the strength of the forebearers, you have become the sword of Ditto. And see, I don't have the the items anymore, the bow, the torch, and stuff. Ta da! We finally have our sword of Ditto. Our surrounds might give it away, but. The last one didn't go so well. Still, means it'd be hard for you to do worse. This should be going on though. We need to get to the town so we can get some directions. I'll mark it on your map. Oh, okay. Can I? Okay, I can go from here. The kazoo thing over there. This is not very fe feeling very rogue-like, or rogue life light. Um, right now, maybe later, hopefully. Okay, the old guy should be in the hall of swords. Let's go check it out. Ooh, ooh, ooh! And while we're here, let's grab a travel cozy too. It'll save you a lot of life work in the long run. And, and it's definitely worth checking out the toy shop too. I mean, for work purpose, obviously. Ditto more. Is, I don't think this is the same town. But. Welcome to Erykazoo. Could I see your identification, please? Well, I'll be a new customer. It's been a while since we had one of those. I'm um, just finding my new user script. Oh, the new user script. <laughs> Welcome to Erkazoo. In order to utilize our instant musical travel service, please take this complimentary kazoo. Press C to summon the Erkazoo transit bus tra or track to the dungeon. To travel Erkazoo, simply locate and activate the Erkazoo beacons you find around Little. You can only travel to an active beacon, so be sure to activate it and while you're there. I'll activate this one for you now. Do do do. Okay. Assign your travel kazoo to the keypad from your bag with escape. And use it to a seat to summon our air kazoo. Have a nice day. And there's chocolate. Assign to the bottom. Yeah, let's go here. Oh. Tell me, little one, is that a giant dog beetle floating there? Or has my sin annihilated finally cut up with me? Then, it's really you, Puku? Or is you're the sword keep, right? One and the same. I was concerned my time may pass without this coming to bear, like my poor grandfather. I presume you're here to discern the location of the anchors, am I correct? Perhaps not, given the blank look on your face. Have you explained anything, Fugu? Does this poor child even know about Mormo? Of course they do. I mean, think. I did mention that stuff to you, didn't I? Cuckoo, 
we need to start taking this more seriously. The Lost Sword didn't even survive long enough to make it to our hall. Well, if we're here now, that just means I'm definitely improving, right? Okay, okay, you're right, I get the message. I'm not sure you do, Puku. That failure one hundred years ago has caused immeasurable sorrow for the people of Ditto. Her monsters have spread across the island, and the more wicked rule has sapped our little remaining hope. That last faint gleam of hope is the sword here now. They are all that stands between our salvation and decent burner a descent burn into darkness. And that means we need the proper plan of action to take Mormo down, right? Correct. Your next move should be to destroy Mormo's anchor. It's one of the instruments of her regeneration and bind her to the throne. Her minions have spoiled it away deep within Ditto's cavernous underbelly. To access said chamber, you require one of the toys of legend. Would that that look would that I could guide you to them, but these old bones have proven a barrier to to discerning their locations. You must explore outside town and seek them yourself. I'll put some more details in your quest. For now, Puku will guide the way. And Puku immediately runs away. I see how it is. Puku does not do great with responsibility. Hello, Mr. Roboto. New CSTM. New customer got at. Welcome. This is Toy Shop, a Ministry of Trials, a brief place to shop for all the wonders of play. We stock a few lesser toys of legend, as well as upgrades. All new trial takers are eligible to receive a complimentary nerve popper. Pow, pow, pow. This foam pallet gun does no damage, but can hit targets at far range. Proper dot bat. You need to utilize the toy to solve puzzles at long range. As an added bonus, it takes no toy power to activate. Toy power? I don't remember that. Recycle dot bat. In addition, you're also provided with a torch. Local weather patterns can cause issues with power supply, so please use this if necessary. I can't condone pyromania, but sometimes getting stuff on fire does get a job done quicker. Uptile bat dot bat. Any toys or legend may be upgraded using materials found on the island. All procedural upgrades are reinvested into running the trial system. Awesome, we got some new toys assigned them. There we go. Well, that marks the end of my force hand holding. You're free to roam dead as you please, but my advice, destroy Mortimer's anchor before the big day. You'll make the final battle easier. Now there's one quirk of this curse delay, delay that I not mentioned. However, wrote the rule made it so that you face you're guaranteed to be strong enough to fate Mormon. Ish. See the sword of yours gets stronger as you help Ditto out. Clear out dungeons, bang each Monsters help the town, so Greg will hear stuff. Not strong enough? Well, then it's time to face her ugliness. You have 24 hours to prepare, and then you can face her down, whether you're ready or not. You need all the you can get on that help, and so take this with you and see where it leads. Celestial token. Symbol of the belief in the power of serendipity. You know what to do with that when the time comes, or I'll just pop up and annoy you. Either way works for me. After all that, I'm sick of the sound of my own voice. Velvety smooth though it is. So I'll let you lead on. On we go. Okay, so now we're free to explore. Well there, no offense, but I think the enemies are here a bit much for you right now. You should think about leaving this for later, okay? Fine. Where's that map? Okay. Let's go down there. Point. 
He has a star on top of him. He did. Oh, dang. Willem. Willem has a flu. Typical never give it. It'd be kind of awkward if I ask for it again. So maybe you could. You will? Amazing. Could you bring it back for me ASAP? ASAP? Flutes from Willem in Mulridge Woods. I don't even know where Mulridge Woods is, buddy. Oh, all the way over there. That's gonna take a while. Oh, there we go. Now I'm getting to. Ah. Uh, why is that one red and blinking? And that one has a yellow health bar. Okay. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was worried about. this little turn what okay then did I expect that burger I did not read about the burger oh uninvited tutorial alert there's a shrine nearby. This little dude does. We're once used to worship an old Dutoan god called Serendipity. Long story short, their whole deal was granting people happy surprises. They might be each help with the whole daft stand thing. Hint, hint. Just ask surprise when it happens, okay? I have no idea what it means. Oh, my token. Uh, sure. Your token was warmly received. I don't think I did the right choice there. Oh, hello there. Serendipity, I presume? Hello, little one. You seem to have taken quite an interest in my shrines. Oh, but where are my manners? I am Serendipity, the goddess of pleasant surprises. Pleased to make pleasure to make your acquaintance, no? Oh, I know who you are, indeed. I think I may be able to interest in you in a mutually beneficial arrangement. There are these things called celestial fragments, useless to you mortals, but in my hands... Well, anyway, I need a little help to collect them. Being a goddess means I got certain skills. Oh, you know, raising the dead, training back Tom, that sort of thing. Pretty standard as god powers go. But red is special to the more, well, anyways, just bring those celestial fragments to one of my many shrines around that old, and we'll see what we can do to sort out, huh? Let's see then. Okay. And there we go. So that was serendipity. What do you think? Bet you weren't to expect the whole giant space whale thing, huh? Well, anyways, yeah, I wasn't. Even though there was a way here, I did not expect to be a giant space whale. Well, anyways, this is a good omen. Now we can collect celestial fragments. See that symbol up there? I mean, I can't see it, but I told, I'm told you can. That's how many you collected. If we get a bunch, we can buy ourselves something that will resurrect you when you die. <clears throat> if. If. Do that.
two crits in a row. There you go, a fragment. Ow. This wool bat is kicking my butt. Okay, so going down is the path right here. Small six cents. Oh, did not think this would be floating. This is where the other guy provides. Shop at Didamon. There's literally no other choice. I see. So they got a monopoly in the market. Oh, I can't really go anywhere here. So I guess I really have to go up. Okay, let's keep going up. Coffee, energy drink. They're all up. Spellus. Wow, he is just not taking any damage. Huh? Ow. Let's keep going. Still level one. Oh, agent, take more more down. You can skip a hatch of judgment by going to sleep in your house. You can wake up on the big day itself. Some time everyone needs a, a bit of hibernation, you know. Yeah, but um, that's not a plan. Oh. Out. I ow ow. Okay, I looks like you're getting a little help. Open your back. Yeah, I know. I was gonna do that. Someone need burger. Chocolate. Um, I'll go with the sushi.
I still need so much more to level up. Just don't let it out. Don't let it down. And I'm still. I'm still of one. I have no idea what was that. Still a bit away, huh? Which I think actually the other path. So I think going up will lead us closer to the city. And let's also check if this respawn is enemies. It sure does seem like it. Whoa, what? He became pulling ahead. Okay, so I can't go this way. Got it. So I really had to go down. The illusion of freedom, the illusion of choice. Oh, it's big guy. Doesn't do much though. Ladybug. Wait, what was that? Here, shiny thing, highly coveted by the owner of King's Motel. Got it. Don't fly, King. What's this? Netherwell Dojo. Finally. A customer. Oh, it's you, sword. Ah, oh, but it just wouldn't feel right charging you. But tell your friends, okay? Okay, but can I? Is that over here? Out. Roll. Come on, bat. Roll behind you and kill you.
Oh wow. They made like shock waves around them, huh? No sprint, no? Wait. Oh that And that does nothing. Got it. Is that like a zombie? Ow. Oh, he got hit. Oh, well. I died. <laughs> the sword falls. I did not expect him to attack a second time quickly. Ooh, that's not good. It's time for me to step in. I'll whisk go back to your house. Hang in there. Okay. So, I guess we'll stop here. Yes. I don't know. Like, could be an interesting game. Just don't see how this would fit the road. Oh, look the city. Oh, that's cool. Anyways, um, I guess we can. Go to the wheel. Let me just go over here. Now, okay, I forgot to take out Darkest Dungeon from the wheel, but I guess we're gonna take out Darkest Dungeon and the Sword of Ditto, Mormon's Curse, because it's more of like a playthrough game, it isn't really a rogue game where we would be going for. And let's spin the wheel. So remember, neither of those counts will just reroll if it happens to be one of them. But instead, we got Synthetic. Another game we're gonna try out and see how it is. Is it gonna save the will? Is it gonna leave the will like these two? We'll see. And with that being said, see you next time. Bye!